Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chain multiple APIs in one single call and then wait for the response from both the uh, APIs or multiple APIs and then, uh, you know, use that response. Okay, so come, let's see that on the screen. So this is the application that you all know and this is there in the GitHub application. Uh, so this application is there in the GitHub repository. So what I'm doing is I'm opening that and it is running on the home page. So under the home page, if you see, there are two methods called get categories and get products. Okay. If I come on this, then there won't be any data on the home page. That's why you don't see any data. So basically there are two calls that is being triggered and the second call will trigger the third method also. So I have a method called chain category and product APIs. Okay, so basically what we are going to do is this is just an example, uh, meaning uh, I'm trying to tell you more than two APIs, how to invoke it and how to use the data that's coming from each of the API. Okay, that is how uh, the simple example is you can replace whatever call you want it to be. Okay, now. Okay, so the first thing we will do is calling the get categories and then use the pipe symbol. And there's a powerful operator called merge map. The merge map is the lifesaver. Okay, so merge map is the operator from RxJS. You use that and then pass the data uh, to that method. So once you have that response, we are invoking the next API. We are chaining the next one. Okay, next one is the get products. For that, we are going to map the uh, content from the pipe symbol and put it into the products uh, local variable and we will return eventually the products. You see this, the return type of this method is now showing us uh, you know the products so please remember that there is two return statement and uh, two api calls we are returning we are chaining it okay so now instead of calling get categories and get products we are going to call this chain uh, method which will eventually call two apis and we are going to subscribe to it okay you can either assign the data there or you can assign the data once you subscribe here and receive it now once you receive these two multiple calls we are going to call the third one which is the wish list uh, get wish list so this list is the one that is loaded for the bottom of the data on the screen. Okay. So now it's totally three calls, two calls we have chained already. Okay. So now let's see uh, what happens if we change this reaction. Okay. So I'm going to go to a different page and come back. So you see the two calls are coming up. Okay. All right. So now see the data started loading up. Now it will be interesting to see uh, some messages coming up. Uh, so I'm going to quickly add the uh, toaster message. You can see right one by one messages are coming. First is category invoked. You receive the data. We invoke the products. We receive the data and then we are invoking the wish list one. So the total of three calls, two calls has been chained. Okay. I'm going to replace this uh, toaster into a console block. So you will see in the console block itself. Okay. So let's navigate back and come back here. You see this first is invoking category. You receive the data and then we are invoking the product and we receive the product data. So two calls, more than one call has been chained. This is how you do guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, comment it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.